What do you think? Is it good? It's definitely, definitely it's super no. sweet, but no. So we've been together for four and a half years. And today we're going to be exchanging our dishes from our cultural heritage snacks today. Um, mine's Persian and hers is from Philippines. Hey guys, my name is Ben and my background is Chinese Canadian. Hi, I'm Lisa and my background is Chinese Vietnamese. So we've been together for almost 10 years. I've known this guy for 11, so yeah. that's more than a decade. So I've made a zaytun pad right here, which is a Persian dish made primarily of olives. It's got some pomegranates in there, it's got walnuts, it's got some mint, um, mm. some garlic. Also done something that we in my family do, it's not necessarily a Persian dish, but put some olive oil and some, on some bread, put some sumac on it, and we put it in the air fryer. Um, so you got to spray the olive oil on it in an air fryer for a couple of minutes, maybe three minutes, and then you get these nice, almost cracker shaped Red slices nice. that you can have with your zaytun pad bag dip. <laughs> so this is usually a side dish actually that you'd have with your kabob or with your um sabzi, your typical Persian dishes. Um, and you've never made this for me and I've actually never seen this before so I am excited to try it. How mm -hmm. would you describe the taste though? Because it's quite interesting that it's olives, pomegranate and mint. Yeah, so the, I'd describe it salty, but sweetish as well from the, sweet and sourish from yeah. the pomegranate molasses. Here we go. So how do you recommend I eat it? Like, this is gonna sound really American, like chips and dip or? <laughs> I think the safest way, because this bread is so stiff, is probably just take a spoon and-, and Like ladle it on? Yeah. Okay. And just <clears throat> pray that it all doesn't collapse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Mmm. Mmm. So the olives and the mint together, so yummy. I would have never ever thought to do that. It's salty from the olives and like a bit of a like a tang from I guess the pomegranate. But the mint's also quite powerful. Quite strong, but it's really good. It makes it like less salty. Um, Okay, so this is, um, or in English it's called like summer rolls, okay. um, but in Vietnamese it's called gô bù. Okay. So it's essentially like rice paper rolls with vermicelli and also like lots of Vietnamese mint. Uh -huh. And then we've also got shisho, basil leaves, cucumber, prawns as well, and also some butter lettuce. Yep. Also, I've got like a little dipping concoction for you as well, mm -hmm. which is um, hoisin sauce yep. and peanut butter. Looks pretty nice. Yeah. So. Looks very, very healthy though. Cool. I'm gonna dig in now. Oh, they are quite sticky. <laughs> oh, no, I've got some meat on it. I don't like the extra vegetables. Mate. <laughs> right. I hope you like Let's it. Take a second. Mm. What are your thoughts? Well, it's very chewy. That's not what I was expecting. But please, do elaborate. <laughs> are you alright, I don't know, it feels chewy first. You know what, it's actually really nice. The peanut butter and with the hoisin sauce gives off most of the flavours for this rice paper roll. It's crunch, crunch, crunch. It's actually crunch. quite crunchy. Um, the cucumber actually helps with that. But it's also quite juicy as well in terms of um, the salad and the cucumber and the meat. Definitely a very, very healthy snack. It's just so chewy. Is it? Yeah. I wasn't exaggerating when I was trying to do So Salar, today I've made a childhood favorite. I haven't eaten this in years and I've actually never cooked it myself. So this is a Filipino, I guess dessert, but I had it as a snack growing up. It's called turon. 
and it's basically a spring roll but with bananas and jackfruit inside. Mm. It's an, like an egg roll wrapper but I wrapped a banana covered in sugar, brown sugar, popped some jackfruit on top and then I fried it which was a whole story on its own. I burnt some of the food. The reason I picked this food for today for you to try because one I haven't made in a long time and it was one of my favorite snacks growing up and two my grandma used to make it for me all the time and this just reminds me of my grandma. It's not very healthy, it's deep fried full of sugar, but it's delicious, <laughs> so... Yeah, it looks, like a, uh, it looks like a sweet sausage roll. It's... Yeah, <laughs> that's a good way of describing it. But it's delicious, so go for it. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good? It's definitely, definitely diabetes. This is super no. sweet, but no, but it's um, it's growing. I need to have another bite to get a full, full understanding. But it's um, yeah, I, I like it. It's good. It's. Um, I don't think you like it. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma in heaven said. I like it, but this is way sweeter than what I usually have as a dessert. I'm not saying it's, it's bad at all. It's, <laughs> It's um, it's a heart attack if you have too many. Oh. Stop! We're <laughs> insulting the Filipinos. The snack that I've got for you uh, today is Peking duck wraps, and I know that most of you guys may be thinking it's not really a snack that you guys really have it for like lunch or like dinner, but hey, if you're only having one or two, it's definitely a snack. <laughs> so this dish is absolutely one of my favorites. My parents would make this like yourself when we're having large family gatherings during dinner time yeah. and it'll be more like an entree or like an appetizer dish what it is essentially it's duck wrap crispy duck this case <laughs> we've got vegetarian duck for you because you're vegetarian usually the duck the skin of duck would be a lot more crispier you've got cucumber uh, shallot and poison sauce so this is where you're going to get most of your flavors from mm -hmm. along with the duck if it was only real duck <laughs> all right you ready to try it yeah you'll make it for me yeah. Alright. So it's like a breakfast wrap after you've done wrapping it. Mm -hmm. And it's got this little pocket down below which holds in all the ingredients. So there you go. Just don't bite my fingers. Mm. You're really close to my fingers. Mm. How is Whoa. it? That is really, really good. It's something that I always see at the restaurants, but I'm like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that, but wow, that, like everything works so well together. And you're right, the hoisin sauce is like the key element yeah. to bringing everything together. So you're getting that like crunch from the cucumber, the juiciness from the duff, mm -hmm. and then that amazing spread of like hoisin just in the middle. It just like brings everything together and it's just like a party. Well, um, it was absolutely fun. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm so so happy that you actually enjoyed it. Yep. And thank you for sharing. <laughs> yep. yep.